Hey y'all, I recently decided to buy a product that I've heard a lot of good reviews from, and that is the Dr. Yart Priming Moisturizer with Multivitamin Complex. It comes in this very nice packaging like so. Uh, it's very professional. I like how they uh, line everything out, and every bit of the package tells you everything that you need to know about the product. So one of the important things um, that is in here is the V7 multivitamin complex, and this is going to deliver seven vitamins for your skin. It's gonna help uh, with the skin's moisture barrier integrity. It's gonna help with your skin's integrity. The other thing that is in here is that uh, this combines skin science and art. So basically, when you have fine lines, wrinkles, and pores, what a primer does is it kind of fills that. So I, when I tell people what a primer does, think of if you're painting a wall, one of the first things to do in painting is number one, you clean the surface and then you prime it. A primer helps to kind of even out the playing field. This is what this does to your skin. It goes in there, it fills in those lines. So if this is your skin, natural skin, it, believe it or not, is not a fine line like this. It's actually ridgy and bumpy. The primer's gonna go in there and fill those holes in and it gives you this nice, you know, firm skin. If you have some fine lines and wrinkles you're kind of self-conscious about or scars, this will help to lessen them, if not completely get rid of them. I have used this product and I'm actually pretty impressed with it. Now the one thing I'll say is that um, it actually smelled very similar to the Body Shop's Carrot Moisturizer, which I was a little bit nervous about because if y'all know, I did a video of that product and I was actually very uh, not pleased with it. But anyhow, that's just the smell of it. It's probably due to the vitamin complex because a lot of these wellness actives smell pretty uh, earthy and that's a very nice way of saying yucky. Um, but it's not going to leave your face uh, stinking. It actually dissipates pretty quickly. It also contains anti-pollution defense, which uh, is made with tomato leaf seed extract, and that protects against environmental stressors. They tell you to apply this to cre uh, clean, dry skin. My skin has been uh, cleansed, toned, and it's dry and ready for everything else. It also lets you know that this does have a little bit of coloring, so this will stain um, the bottle. This will not stain your skin and leave you looking um, like that stain color does. And the stain is from whatever is added in here. They probably put some color or some of the vitamins. Uh, it could be from a, a vitamin C, because there is ascorbic acid, which is a type of vitamin C. And that we call that a caramelization. It leaves a, a stain, but this will not stain your clothes. If you're careful, just put it on your um, face and neck. Uh, know that this is dermatologist tested. It's clinically tested uh, to reduce the effects of pollution on the skin. Clinically tested to show um, improvement in skin texture and clinically tested to measure in skin brightness. Now I am gonna just say this right here. Um, typically a lot of those studies, um, if you know how to read the scientific studies, some of it is true, but there is a lot of marketing in there. So for example, anything with the priming ability is gonna have ingredients, it's gonna prime. So regardless if it's Dr. Yart or another brand, uh, but Dr. Yart, I have tested a lot of their products and I am impressed because they do put quality in their product. And I usually what you pay is what you get with skincare. These are high quality premium lines. You're gonna pay a little bit extra, but the result you're gonna get is good and you're not gonna need a heck of a lot of this. So it also um, tells you on the back that you can use this for dull skin. It, this is ideal for dull skin. The solution is the V7 multivitamin complex and the action is healthy skin. They break it down for in the uh, words for solution action. So who needs this? What's the key ingredient? And what can you expect to get out of the product? You can also use this. So if you're gonna do a makeup application as a, when I do, um, I don't really do many makeup applications, but when I do uh, facials for clients, I usually use this. And then, because a lot of the times when you do a client's facial, you gotta take off all the makeup. So you take off the makeup, if you have a product that you can either mix in a little bit of CC cream or any kind of serums in there and put it on their face, then that client can go home or go and get a professional makeup application. And it's a really good selling product if you carry this. Like, oh, hey, you know, maybe the client's really upset. Oh, you got to take off all this makeup and I have somewhere I got to go. Well, here, let me just at least prep your skin. And this facial and this product will make your makeup application much easier. That's a really good way of uh, telling clients about the product so that they can make the informed choice if they want it or not. Uh, you can also, it says you can use this prior to a makeup application or on its own. This works really well before photographs. If you're a vlogger, if you're a blogger and you take a lot of photos or do a lot of videos, this will work wonders on your skin. And if you can see, I uh, have a few fine lines and I'm still working uh, with some peels and a whole regimen of retinol to kind of make my skin a little bit more even. 
I'm gonna be doing a whole separate video where I test this out um, again, but I've used quite a bit of it. It has this like pinky orangey stain, it's hard to see, uh, but don't freak out if you see that. And that's what the product looks like. I'm gonna show you a little bit when you put it on. Go right up here. See how that lessens a little bit there compared to over here? You really do have to rub this in, so just be mindful that when you are applying this product, um, it is going to take a little bit of uh, massaging to make sure all of it is absorbed in there. Other than that, the smell is a little interesting, but um, I actually don't mind it, and I find that over time this is really good for photographs. It's great during the winter time when your skin is dry. It tends to be a lot more drier because of the cold. So what I'm going to do is, oh, and before I do my video testing this, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rate this. Now, price-wise, it is expensive. So, let me see if I move this. It is expensive, so you do pay for what you get. It is more on the expensive side. However, usability, you're typically gonna use this during the daytime when at nighttime you'd want a different moisturizer, something that is more richer, creamier, something that is stronger in moisturization abilities. So it will last you a lot longer. I would guess about maybe a month, maybe two months, depends on how much you use. You really don't need a lot. I would say start with the dime size amount, and if you need a little bit more, don't do any more than a quarter size amount. If you're doing your neck, you'd need a little bit more. You can put this in any part of your body that you want to prime. If you're doing a photo shoot, it's great for uh, makeup artists who are working on set. It's a great tool to have in your toolbox. Um, it's good for long-term use. You will notice revitalized skin. I have noticed that because of the vitamins that are in there. Vitamins on skin work a little bit differently than vitamins inside. In terms of um, you know, my own experience, I would probably rate this a four out of five. Um, only because I find that I tend to need this more in the wintertime. In the summertime, it might flake a little bit if your skin is too dry. So what I always tell people is just do a gentle spritz of toner if your skin is super dry and just tap that in there. It will make the product spread a lot easier and the priming abilities will show themselves a lot more. But I do like the idea of a built-in primer. It makes the product you know, all that more better, a lot more marketable. It's kind of like, oh, you can take a whole step out of your skincare routine because typically a primer is used over top of moisturizer to you know, even out the playing field, even out the face, make the face look a lot more um, uniform. It tends to give a slight matte finish, so if you don't like a matte finish, I would say try something more on the moisturizing end or combine products, because you can do that with moisturizers. So definitely a four out of five. It's a product that I will be purchasing again. I think it's a great product. I think it's actually a better version of what the Body Shop's Carrot Moisturizer should have been, um, believe it or not. And if you've tried the Dr. Yart V7 Priming Moisturizer, comment down below. Uh, let me know how you like it. I love the package design. It looks official. This looks like someone totally gave you a prescription. And everything inside um, is great. It looks very official. I have this in my skincare fr uh, fridge. This is one of my go-tos, especially in the wintertime, or when I'm looking for some hydration, but also something that will be great if I'm going to be a video to record it or photograph that day. So if you all like these videos, please like, comment, hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll be on for more videos for Skincare Saturday. Also check out the next video where I'm gonna be demonstrating this, and I'm also gonna be mixing in the Body Shop's Drops of Glow to show you all how to get a nice, slight, sun-kissed tan without having to compromise your skin's integrity by laying out in the sun or the tanning bed. So see everyone soon.